the Faba TV studios and I just wanted to do a quick little design for you to uh, give you a little sneak peek on what we have to offer. Alright, so I'm going to do a little, just a little necklace um, on Daniela here, who I painted earlier, you may have seen her. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to grab a couple colors, I'm keeping it really simple, two colors plus black and white. Um, I don't know if I really need to talk through this or not because it's, it's just circles, circles and swirls. Take me a little pink. Um, this is fun when somebody doesn't want to have their face painted, you know, but they still want to be painted. Or if you're just tired of painting faces all day and you want to do something new. Uh, so I will start with pink and I'll just make a quick little medallion right in the center, like so. It doesn't have to be a perfect circle. And I'm going to add another one here, and another one here. So what I do at um, festivals, like, because again, I don't use templates that much. I, I, you know, I don't do like the traditional faces. I try to steer away from it as much as possible. Um, so instead, uh, the fun thing is just throw colors on and throw some lines on and see what happens. You know? So this is one, one thing I do. Alright, I'm going to take a little light blue, and I'm going to add, I think, a couple smaller circles here. And just making it up as I go along, keeping it loose and fun. Hang on right here. Like so. I'm going to take a little white. This white, I like to have it not too too um, too wet. I just want to use the the round side of the sponge here, and let's see, that's practically dry. So I'm just going to tap it like that, like so. It adds a little bit of highlight right into the center of the pink, and again on this these parts like so. And dink 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 dink. Always make noises. Marcella will tell you that makes things easier and goes smoother. All right, so that's practically already done. Now I'm just going to outline it and add some, uh, you know, add some little swirls and lines and see what happens. So I'll start in the center. I'm just going to outline each individual circle first, and then I'll go back and connect them with a, a few little swirls and stuff. And that is not quite black enough here, so let me go back over there. Con um, paint consistency is important. You want a nice, you want your black to look black, not gray. There, that's a little better. And circle that one. So, I got those done. Now, to find some fun and unexpected lines and swirls, um, I will start, I'm going to start one at the bottom of the big pink one. And I'm going to wrap it into that one, next to it, right like that. And then again, um, with my style, all these little sharp corners that I create, I round them off. I don't like any sharp corners in my work. Like so. This one. I'm never afraid to go back over my lines if I want to, just so I can make them darker. There we go. 
I don't generally go back over my black lines at parties or things, but. All right, so it's not symmetrical as you see. It doesn't really have to be. And a little swirl. I'm gonna connect this swirl like so. And again, I go back over and immediately take out my sharp corners. Okay. Now I'm going to connect this little guy. This one I'm going to do like that. And if you're trying this at home, you don't have to do it exactly this way. Please try a different way. All sorts of ways to do it. Nothing is wrong. Alright, got that one. This one, I'm going to connect to this one as well. Like so. swirl down here. And I'm going to bring it up around the, um, around the uh, neck line a little bit. Like so. Doesn't have to go all the way around. Just enough to give the impression. I'm going to step over to the other side, pardon me, and fix that a little bit right there. And one more little thing for fun. could keep adding and adding and adding and adding and eventually just cover the entire body with circles and lines and swirls if I wanted to. Wouldn't that be neat? And for fun, I'm going to do a straight line right up there like that. Again, there's no rules. Anything works. I'm going to do one more. Final touches of a black low lights, keeping them very loose and fluid. Some little white highlights. My white highlights, I like to do a long one along the top, a little bitty one along the bottom, long one along the top, bitty one on the bottom. Same with these ones. And final step, a little more white highlights. Just gonna be little dots. Pink, 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 pink. Something about this is you also get these nice little flesh tone shapes that are kind of fun to work with too. As they say, it's, not, it's just as much about the model as it is about your own art, so why not let the model shine through the paint sometimes? And I saw one more little tiny thing I want to fix right there. 
All right, and I think that's basically it. So a little necklace on the end.